From speaking engagements across the country to being the lone physician appointed to the largest health board in Idaho, Dr. Ryan Cole has certainly gained some notoriety the past few months. But he's also apparently lost a few clients along the way. It's some pretty big ones. Today we learned the pathologist who owns and operates a large testing lab in Garden City will soon no longer be part of the St. Luke's Health Partners Network. The same goes for his lab, Cole Diagnostics. So what does this mean? Well, it means beginning December 22nd, when the contract ends, Dr. Cole and his lab will not be in network for nearly 200,000 Idahoans, those who are covered by certain health insurance plans in Idaho. For example, if your insurance is with Select Health, which is linked to St. Luke's Health Partners, and you needed some lab tests done, well, they wouldn't be sent to Dr. Cole or Cole Diagnostics. Who parted with whom and why? Well, that isn't quite clear. St. Luke's wouldn't say, but they would say they can confirm that Cole Diagnostics and its sole provider, Dr. Cole, is no longer participating in the St. Luke's Health Partners or Bright Path Networks. However, St. Luke's can't say anything else about this situation because of Idaho's peer review law. We do know this isn't the first time someone has distanced themselves from Dr. Cole and his laboratory. On the doctor's own website, under his current positions, he lists things like being a board member of the Independent Doctors of Idaho, his role as CEO of Cole Diagnostics, and that he has been consulting a consulting pathologist with Boise's VA, VA Medical Center since 2003 to the present. Except he isn't presently connected to the VA hospital. According to the Veteran Affairs Public Affairs person, Dr. Cole isn't an employee, nor is he currently a consultant. Josh Callahan told us a couple weeks ago the VA stopped using Cole and his lab last spring, distancing themselves from his outspoken criticism of the COVID vaccine and his insistence on using and promoting unproven therapies for the virus like ivermectin, and they really wish he would take it off his website. And now we've learned there's a third entity that has stepped away from Dr. Cole. Crush the Curve, the organization whose goal from the early days of the pandemic was to test and vaccinate our way out of the pandemic, to crush the curve, to keep the spreading virus from crippling our healthcare systems. Well, to do that, to date, they've done just under 250,000 COVID tests in Idaho. And while overall, they tell us, crush the curve, used cold diagnostics to run a very low percentage of those tests, they stopped using cold diagnostics altogether back in October. They tell us it was a decision based on, well, costs, turnaround times, and Coupled with the fact our mission to crush the curve was at odds with the information proactively campaigned to the public by leadership at Cold Diagnostics. All contributed to our decision to utilize other labs in our network. And those are just the three healthcare entities we can confirm. As usual, we have tried to ask Dr. Cole about this distancing, but he has yet to respond to us. He hasn't since August. Loss of business may not be the only concern for Dr. Cole, though. He is being investigated by the Washington Medical Commission, where he is licensed. And here in Idaho, there was a complaint filed against Cole with the State Board of Medicine by a group representing thousands of physicians, alleging he's practicing outside the standard of care.